Hey guys, in the last tutorial we created the layout of login interface. This is the login activity and this is the register activity. And we also created a table, a database on 000webhost.com. And this is the table we created. This is the structure of the table. So now we are going to work on PHP. So open notepad or notepad plus plus I am using notepad plus plus right this is how you start and end your PHP file so first we need to connect to the database so write dollar con equals mysqli connect and write local host my user my password and my db so it takes four parameters host username password and database now we need to fetch the name email username and password user entered that the user entered so write name equals host and your name email equals dollar underscore post email same for username and same for password Now since we are creating this file for uh, the register process, we are going to insert this data into the database. So I am going to write insert query equals mysqli prepare and here write dollar con comma in double quotes write insert query insert into table name is contacts then and here see the structure of the table it has five fields id name email username password we are going to make id auto increment we haven't done it yet I'm going to do that later. So we are going to pass name, email, username, and password. So here, write name, email, username, password. It has to match exactly with this one. So if n is capital, make a capital else. Whatever you write, just write the same way here. And values. For values, I'm going to write question mark here. And now I'm going to use MySQLI STMT, that is for statement, param. And here, write insert query. This is for insert query. Hence, write insert query and in double quotes uh, we have to write the data type of these four fields so name email username and password are of data type varchar that is string so here write sssss for four fields and after that write name email username that is the values of these fields so since we wrote question marks here we are doing this and we are passing these four variables here after that write mysqli 
statement execute and here write insert query after that we need to close the insert query statement so write mysqli statement close insert query and after that we need to close this con statement so write mysqli close and here pass con and now save this file i created a folder on my desktop login php mysql and inside this folder you can save this file i'm going to call it register.php and save it so after this we need to create one more file so create a new file and this is also php and write this same as this one i'm just going to copy this statement to connect to the database and this statement to close the statement and save it as fetch user data dot php so this uh, this file is going to be used in the login process so we only need the password and the username so like this i'm just going to copy these two or uh, username and password because we need username and password and after that instead of insert query i want to write select query but we are going to write select query and write my sqli prepare con comma in double quotes we are going to write the select query so write select star from contacts where username equals question mark and password equals question mark and after that we are going to write the mysqli statement param here we are going to pass select query and after that the data types of username and password are string so write ss and after that pass the username and password and close it so after that we are going to execute the statement so write mysqli stmt execute and write select query here now since insert query is just doing the work of inserting the values into the database select query is different because select query fetches the values from the database and it needs to be stored somewhere so for that we are going to write the next part to store the fetch data so write mysqli statement store result and here write select query after that write mysqli statement bind result here write select query uh, we are going to get all the five parameters that is because we have written star here star means all so we need to write id name email password username and password we are going to create one array called user and this is how you create array in php after that we are going to use a while loop so write while mysqli statement fetch and here write select query
and here we are going to fetch the name email username and password here we are going to store the name email username and password into the array so write user name equals name so i'm just going to copy this and paste it and after name write email username password and here also email username and password now write echo json and code and here pass the array user now we need to close the select query statement so write mysqli stmd close and you write select query now we are done with this file so that's it for today i hope you like this video there will be three to four more parts to this tutorial if you want to see more android tutorials then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up bye